Hi, this is Adam Kuzmiller with Board Game Geek at Gen Con 50, and I'm joined by Brian Lentz with Utter Board Games, and we're here to talk about Battle Scars. So what is Battle Scars? Uh, Battle Scars is a turn-based strategy game uh, set in a universe that's in the future from Earth. Okay. Uh, it is essentially you against an opponent, so it's a 1v1 game. Uh, you are settling disputes, if you will, over land masses, over resource, resource rights, is, yeah. what have you. So the game itself, uh, from a standard base, takes about 45 minutes to an hour to play. Okay. Uh, you will have several vehicles. There will be nine different models, about 36 ships uh, or vehicles in the game. And you can see some of them in the prototype form here, some of them painted as well. Uh, we have some of the tokens. And the art, of course, this is prototype uh, sure. as it is. But the game premise itself, when you set up, um, you'll be combating against opponents. So if you and I were playing, sure. uh, you make your moves. You make your moves based on a resource called bandwidth. The bandwidth right. itself is your economy that comes back to you round after round. The economy feeds into what are called the tower cards and or the tracker cards themselves. Mm -hmm. So then you have these tracker cards here that will dictate whether they're for movement or for activating the actual units themselves and what they can do. So that's how you use your economy. So you have to strategize into the game whether, you know, how you're going to move, how you're going to fire your weapons, or how mm -hmm. you're going to protect yourself. What the uh, neat part about this is that with some of the uh, vehicles in the game, you have what are called like war horses, you have these trucks, which are called uh, bulldogs, and in there, there are nodes. You can see here, there's an open node oh, in there. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, you have these towers that you can install, which are these cards oh, here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you have these as well. And these little tower pieces. So on the fly, it's hot swappable based on a me mechanism that's built into the game that I designed. That's great. So with this, um, you are in a position where you need a long-range weapon and you only have a short-range weapon. So you pop this out and you go ahead and grab a long-range weapon and you pop this back in. Nice. So that is a, a crucial point of the game itself. Um, but myself and uh, two other of uh, my co-designers uh, came up with the concept, if you will, and led into this where it's now a 45 minute to an hour skirmish game, have six scenarios, like I said, hour to two hours to play it. Um, so it comes to Kickstarter in October. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to hear some responses uh, from the folks that are out there, from the backers. It, it, it is totally a diverse system, and that's also a key element as well. It has nine different models, as I was saying, with 36 vehicles. You're not limited to a faction. There are no factions. Okay. So that's a really neat key part that I wanted to have in the game when I was designing. And so with that, you can actually pick any of the vehicles. Mm -hmm. And you can also pick what's called an operator. And the operators themselves also have enhancements that will, that will uh, play into the diversity of the game. They enhance your movement, your attack ability of that nature. Along with that, of course, the boards are modular. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be nine boards in the oh, games nice. with different and topical double sided, double sided sorry, yeah. different topical graphical maps. It's all for it's all for look and fun. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, it's it's a really exciting game and it gives you that diversity as I was saying, which is uh, a sweet point that I'm finding from a lot of either board gamers and miniature so they, they miniature players, they love to have that capability. And the other upside to it for a final final piece is that it's extremely scalable yeah extremely scalable so, so you, you said it normally takes about 45 minutes to an hour once but if you, you wanted to it, just go ham on it and have like 10 boards and all you could do you, that you could do that awesome. you could do that so and that would be based on you know of course you'd have to play around with yourself I set the parameters hey this is the base game right right and you can do <laughs> you can do what you here want are the tools. yeah here here's are the how tools. I suggest you use them <laughs> right right here's how I suggest it but you can have fun with it and it's mm -hmm. you know it's really I mean with the, the the type of components in it would be 12 up, but really a nine or 10 year old on sure. up could play this game. Very fun, very easy to get into. You have fun pieces where if you're a miniatures modeler, I mean, you can make oh, things yeah, do they're, that. They're, they're, you know, they, they, yeah. they can you know break them apart. You got the magnetics here. Uh, this this piece right here, of course, is uh, painted for show. Mm -hmm. um, you can go into higher detail levels than that, but most of the pieces will come out of box with a nice acrylic base, and then that's going to be you know out of box type of type of production with the plastic. So all kinds of things to do from a hobbyist standpoint. Paint your minis, have fun with it. You can do mm -hmm. anything you want with the painting. Uh, from the strategic standpoint, it's uh, from a surface level. Is this one of the? Oh, no, that's attached. <laughs> yeah, that's attached, yeah. This one is a little, sorry, this is part of a squad base. There's three of them in the squad, which is uh, something that, that's the that's the card for it right there, and this shows, this shows the three pieces for the squad. But, um, yeah, 
really, really, really cool. All right, game. looks great. Well, once again, that was Battle Scars. Yeah.